hello, it's your boy Lay, and I'm back with another vlog. Vlog. This time, I'm on the streets of Prussia itself. Oh, it's a chilly morning. Make sure to wear your hoodies and uh, put on your pants this morning again. Wait a minute. There's like someone in the middle of the streets. Is that? I think that's Otto Van Bismarck, my, my idol. Oh my god, it's literally my idol, Otto Van Van Bismarck. <laughs> sir, sir, what were your roots in politics before you became the prime minister? Well, I was born and raised as an aristocrat. I remained loyal to the Junker class, the traditional land-owning aristocracy in Prussia. I heard you tried to do many jobs and careers in your youth. How do these experiences affect the way you are now? I first earned a law degree in college and started my career in the Prussian civil service. Unfortunately, I got tired of the administrative routines and just managed my country in sta states instead. I couldn't sit through their bureaucratic commands and there I realized that my pride bids me to command rather than obey. What experiences would you say positively affected your success as prime minister? A few years after college, I built a base of diplomatic experience as the Prussian delegate into the parliament of the Germanic Confederation. That, plus my previous experiences being a Prussian ambassador to Russia and France, definitely positively affected and changed me. What did you learn from your past political experiences? Through my past political experiences, I was able to acquire a wider knowledge of European affairs and I learned how to assess the character of rulers. I have a good question. Would you consider yourself a political gambler or a modern opportunist? I would say I'm a modern opportunist because I am a very realistic person. I only wage war when all other diplomatic alternatives have not worked and only if the military and diplomatic advantages were on my side. What was your reasoning behind your re-submission of the Army Appropriations Bill to Parliament in 1862? Well, I believe that I have a passionate appeal to my liberal opponents. <laughs> Prussia contains an immense amount of potential when it comes to firearms. People in politics cannot be persuaded through speeches. The power, true power resides in the iron and blood of the nation. How were you able to submit to Parliament's demands while still maintaining your rule over Prussia? Well, that's the thing. I didn't. I ultimately ignored Parliament and governed Russia with my own hands. When they rejected my bill, I pushed on, collected the taxes, and reorganized the army anyways. So how did Parliament respond to your rebellious acts? Parliament did nothing to stop me. I pursued my domestic policy and opposition merely encouraged me to work toward an active foreign policy. Y'all, that was, that was Otto van Bismarck. It's just my idol. Just <laughs> but all jokes aside, like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my next vlog, which is an interview with Napoleon at England. There. Catch me.